this video will feature a gameplay critique with commentary mixed in at key moments. One of my viewers, Claude Alpha, will be playing as the hillbilly. As they progress through the match, I'll be awarding keys for exceptional moments. Fairly common perk choices on hillbilly, although Thrill of the Hunt is a bit different. We'll see if you get any use out of it this match. Whoops, did you guys catch that? Because Claude Alpha didn't. Now look, I'm no expert in the field of barrelology, but that barrel has arms and legs. More importantly though, how can you prevent losing track of survivors like this in the future? When following scratch marks, if you notice them disappear suddenly, that often means the survivor is either walking or hiding nearby. Using the last known scratch mark, establish a search radius and check the most realistic hiding spots the survivor could have reached. What a waste of a pallet. She didn't even try to loop you. Time for another rewind. Let's break down what happens here. You're following the scratch marks just fine, but then you make your first mistake. Why rev your chainsaw here when the survivor has both plenty of distance on you and cover at their disposal? Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. You could have downed this Claudette while she was cosplaying as a barrel. However, you made the same mistake you did earlier and failed to consider how far the Claudette could reasonably have traveled since the scratch marks ended. Well, at least you're able to punish her for running in a straight line through a cornfield against a hillbilly. I'll give you that much. Nice job. Although if that Meg were smarter, she would have tried playing around the tree more. Destroying pallets with your chainsaw only saves time if you charged it before it was dropped. Otherwise, it takes longer than just kicking it. Even if she dropped that pallet, she would have been done for. Okay, so you whiffed your saw there. However, it didn't look like you missed because you got juked. It looked more like a lag spike that caused you to think she was making a hard left. Thank you for punishing Nancy for that awful attempt at stealth. Meg tried to save her, but this is Claudette's last hook. Okay, same mistake as earlier in the game. You saw scratch marks, then they suddenly disappeared. Given that you didn't see any scratch marks beyond the tall grass, how many places could the survivor be? If the last seen scratch mark was here, 
then the survivor probably only had enough time to walk behind the truck, crouch behind the barrels, or hide behind the hay. However, you didn't do one full circle around any of these objects. I should mention this is a low rank game, but that might be obvious to you guys by now. Hopefully you guys are learning what not to do watching these misplays, but in case it isn't clear, the window Meg chose to vault was a poor choice for two reasons. One, the killer had easy access to both sides of the window, and two, the angle at which Meg approached the window forced her to slow vault. Okay, so when searching the generator area for survivors, you should consider how much time they had to hide before you arrived. If they had a lot of time, they're probably not going to be in the immediate area. They're probably going to be hiding in a less obvious spot. Checking the basement, for example, was a good idea, but you didn't search any of the corners. Yeah, a lot of blind searching here. That can happen if you don't capitalize when barbecue and chili activates. So I don't know if you use headphones, but it should have been obvious Meg was in the shack. If you had vaulted the window right here, you might have been able to avoid this chase altogether. It would have taken you less time to vault the window here than circle the shack. Did you guys see that? That moment of hesitation before entering the shack where the pallet was. Did you forget you had the Enduring Perk? Let me pull you aside for a sec. I've got some tips for you that could help make it easier to land your chainsaw. While charging your power, you should aim your camera downwards so your chainsaw doesn't obscure your view. You can't see the survivor at all right here. But if you'd aimed lower, you would have had this whole top portion of the screen to keep track of them. Tip number two, if the survivor tries to run into you, just backpedal. While it's important to stay close enough to reliably hit them with your saw, standing too close makes it easy for them to twirl you around like this. And lastly, I think you're too twitchy with your mouse movements. Just looking at your gameplay so far, it seems like your sensitivity is very high. It's because of this that I think you overcorrected your aim and missed your saw here. There aren't that many moments in Dead by Daylight where you need to flick your mouse like that. This isn't a first person shooter, you know. Let's rewind for a second here. So the moment you peeked into the shack and saw her going through the window, you should have ran to the right of the shack instead of inside it. This window is giving you a lot of problems. If the survivor is playing by the window like that, just fake left or right, then vault through it. 
There you go. Now that's a good vault. Now this was a huge mistake on your part. By running the direction you did, you allowed Meg to escape without having to drop the pallet. You know what that means, right? This whole scenario can play out again with her or another survivor. Or at least, that's what would have happened if she weren't a noob. Well, at least you got her in the end. Even if it did take you a full two minutes to catch her. That could have been an easy down if you just walked up to her. Good job not falling for Nasty Nancy's tricks. Very nice. That could have taken a lot longer if you hadn't mind game the survivor. I'll give you a key for that one. Another clean kill. Good work not spousing out during the moment of truth. You know, I'm glad this Nancy's dead. Her situational awareness this game was terrible. But anyways, that is her wrap for this match. I think Cloud Alpha had some decent plays in this game where they ended their chases very quickly. However, a lot of these plays were only made possible due to the survivor's inexperience. There are also numerous mistakes made that would have undoubtedly cost Cloud Alpha the match against veteran players. Cloud Alpha also had one key moment where they successfully mind gamed a short wall long wall loop. So that's about it for this gameplay critique. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for future content.